Uh, we're in the garage. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, balancing a bit more. Uh, I've got Umar's shaft uh, turbine wheel and compressor for balancing. Um, I've had a few little false starts really, um, but it's it's a learning curve for me as much as it is for anybody else. Um, I tried I tried my magnetic balancer. And it, it didn't work so good with the compressor wheel. I think the main problem was that there's not much location and really when you use this it would perhaps be better if put a thread on there and then make an aluminium nut, perhaps a round aluminium nut, then it doesn't alter the balancing too much. And this is 8mm, make a step 10 and then it fits like it would on the shaft so you can tighten it up on this and it works like it would when the turbine was on the shaft. Um, at the moment, it is wheels running fairly true. It runs pretty true on the shaft. But on this, it didn't do. Um, there's not a lot of location, like I say, with the original drawing design. So it's just something to be aware of. So um, I couldn't use this. So the next method then is, is your rocking method. Now this is his turbine wheel. Now it's not a true test because it's on my shaft. On his shaft it may look better. But I've had to order some new bearings. The only bearings I've got uh, are a bit worn and damaged. So um, this isn't a true test. But you, you, this is what you're doing. You've got to do. You've got to balance things a little bit before I put it on on me uh, on me electronic balancer because it's very critical. Um, it doesn't need to be much out before it starts to vibrate that much it throws things out of it so anyway you, you put a lump of um, this is blue tack, lump of blue tack that was the heavy area and you, and you try and get it so that it's as, as balanced as can be it's, it's not, I'm not going to mess around getting it perfect but basically you just rock it like that on a flat surface the tube doesn't have to be a good fit so this is just a bit of stainless tube and as you can see it's not a brilliant fit uh, it's probably better if they are a bit slacker, they just find their own seat then. So that's what you're doing anyway. So what you've got to do, you've got to do it in a certain order. Now, with the electronic balance it, I did the shaft first and you can see I had to the the sensor is only at one end, this end. Uh this end it's just supported and driven. So Without the compressor wheel on, I did the shaft. I found that the compressor end was okay, but this end was out. As you can see, I've I've took, I've had a, uh, a go at it with, with Dremel to get it to balance. I put, I kept adding blue tack on the shaft until I I, I got a, a a low reading, and then uh, I attacked it with Dremel. Uh, the opposite side. You got to remember when you're putting blue tack on, you're actually adding weight. So I was adding weight to this side and means it wants weight off that side. Now what I do, I make it like a cardboard tube and as it is, it's a good fit on the shaft. Uh, that's the join line and that's the fold line so I know 180 apart. Uh, it's just a way I can slip that on the shaft and I can tell where the weight is and where to, to grind off. Right, so that's quick intro now it's got a little vibration sensor up here two wires coming off it this is a this is another uh, sensor setup for for doing uh, compressor wheels because compressor wheels you've got to kind of do them both ends car compressor wheels um, so this is a very thin fiberglass sheet I think I did two laminates. It's like that's like 1.2 milli. And what you're trying to do, you're trying to. This is all stuck together with super glue, and you're trying to tie it at the top and bottom, and and at the middle, so that obviously then you're bending the middle of it. So set up that way, so it it, it bends, it bends in the middle, and, and get it's the most reading from it. This is a bit of nylon, a, a PTFE. Uh, 
you've got to run it on the uh, you've got to get some brand new wheels uh, bearings and take them apart and use them only for for this because you, obviously you don't want anything with dints in that if you've run previous uh, so that's okay for this end because what you're doing that bearing would be in the engine so you've got to take it apart there anyway um, so I'm just balancing on the inner race the groove on the inner race where the balls would be um, it's not as good as what a proper turbocharger manufacturer would do because I can't balance it all together in the engine this is I'd balance it best I can, mark everything off as best I can the fits want to be very good, the bearing fits on the shaft want to be very good uh, you need to polish the shaft down then it's a really good fit in fact start off with it a little bit tight because it's surprising how if you just turned a shaft and then you've polished it a bit it's surprising how quickly you were off the high spots so don't be worried if the bearing's a little bit tight to start with because by the time you've put a bearing on and off a few times it, it, it goes slack so you want them a little bit tight okay so that's my setup that's what the sensor is so you've got I've got one sensor at, at this end and this is your drive end and that's a, a inner race of a bearing again this is an old tape deck motor uh, it's surrounded with foam and then uh, just tie wrapped on because uh, obviously this is a lump of big lump of steel to try and keep the vibration down from that bit and everything's earthed and that so you're, you're looking at this now I've, I've, the battery's actually connected now so um, these are your sensitivity readings so I can turn the sensitivity up and down this is my sp speed control I think that's just a voltage reading, reading or, or not a voltage but where it is uh, it, it won't be 3 volts so it's enough for a tall battery but anyway so this is just an off on switch so I can if I find a sweet spot where I'm getting a good signal I can just leave it at that point and switch it on and off but you've still got to move it slightly so if I, if I just spin it up now just let it settle a minute and what we're looking for you're always going to get little bits of movement in that um, with the sensor, it's that, it's that sensitive, you don't want to be leaning on the bench or doing anything else really. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the speed up a slightly and find a point where it, it vibrates the most and then I'll go past that. So if you, if you watch, yeah, So that's that's what it's doing. It's, it's it, I've set it up at the moment very sensitive. Let's click it now, man. I've got a, It's a little bit. It's a little bit finicky. This setup. Uh, it can start rattling at that end because I'm kind of pulling it up. I don't know. I still don't know whether it's the right way to do it. Anyway, I'll, I'll come back at it again. If I go too fast it just comes off that 